Hello, welcome back to episode 10. So, the end of the last episode didn't go that well, and I kind of um, rage quitted in this area a little bit. And since then, I haven't been playing for a couple of days. And um, when I come back and start playing, the game just starts crashing like a new type of crash that we haven't had before. Like, um, the crash that we had in the beginning was like freeze crashes. But now we got uh, just like straight to the desktop, just immediately. And that uh, wasted like an hour of my time. And, uh, and you hear like the fucking sound issue as well, we have that back. Uh, but I, I think I have stopped the, the crashes now at least. I had to look it up. Uh, for some kind of solution, and uh, I got a tip that said uh, try turning off uh, exclusive file screen. That that could work. So I did that, and so far, and I've been playing for maybe 40 minutes or so. It hasn't crashed anymore. But I, I have to say, this fucking game with its technical issues has. Like ruining the experience of the game, which otherwise is a very good game. But it has like destroyed my experience of this game, like nothing else. It is one of the most unstable games I have ever played in my life. Like it is up there with the XCOM 2. Not, not that bad, but it is up there, like very close second place. And um, it's a shame, it, it really is, because otherwise this would have been so much better. Okay, so another thing, like, look at this. We have all of a sudden we have like six bullets for the shotgun and thirty for for the machine gun, and we left off with the zero zero. So I think the the game gives you a few bullets if you completely run out. I, I believe so at least, because otherwise I have no idea where I got this from. Because I think I was at zero zero. And um, I suppose they have to do that because otherwise you, w you could get like soft locked uh, in certain sections of the game. So that's a good thing. That should make this part easier. And another good thing that happened is, um, I mean, it takes like 40, uh, 40 minutes at least to get back here from the save point. Like that, that horrible path with all the cutscenes and everything, like the climbing section and all that and the crypt. And... Uh, I found out this time that um, like after you do you do the crypt and like you go like in a full circle here and you come back to the like the entrance to the headquarters to, to this place. I noticed that um, you can go back. You can go back from there to to the save point. Like it's not a good save point by any means. It's like a five minute save point away. Uh, from here it's maybe ten minutes. But it's better than nothing. It's better than a 40 minutes back. So instead of a 40 minutes back save point, we now have a 10 minutes back save point. Which is... It's kind of okay. But it is it's a bunch of like unskippable cutscenes and stuff that uh, I have to go through every time here if I die again. So... I also made uh, a few arrows, like uh, the special arrows. So we have two... Uh, you can't make any more than two of each of the special arrows, unfortunately. Two fire arrows and two, I think it is poison arrows or the dread arrows or whatever. So I'm gonna try that, see if that helps. Um, and um, yeah, we, we have to survive this shit so we can get to a real fucking save point and continue the game because this has not been fun for me. And um, especially with all the fucking technical issues, which has made this. Uh, <laughs> A very unpleasant experience. Oh great. I didn't die at least. But um, this section doesn't seem that bad. Like they didn't have like machine guns or anything. So I think I can get through this, but I, I don't know what comes after this. Like, it may go on 
forever this section before we get to a save point. That, that's the worst part. That, that really is the worst part. This isn't too bad. It looks worse than it is. Good. Now to get in. Huh? That looks like my way in. So I think um, at first I should probably try to be as sneaky as possible when like all enemies shows up. I, I mean I wasn't super sneaky the last time. I, I can be sneakier. And um, Laura, where are you? The Emperor's tomb. I almost have what we need. We'll be ready. When the sneak sneakiness fails because it's gonna, I, I'm not like a master sneaker. I don't have enough space for that. When that fails, I will use the weapons. But up until then, I will try to use just arrows and sneaky stuff. And like this special arrow, I, I don't remember if that is the poison or if it is the, like the fear arrow or something. But I will try that out and see. Is any this good? This is elaborate. This must have been an important ruler. And let's hope that uh, this, uh, like, uh, uh, unchecking exclusive full screen in a settings, that that is really the thing that solved uh, the crashing issue. Because otherwise, like, uh, I don't know what to do with this game anymore. I have tried so many things to get it to run smoothly. But yes, and, and it's so strange that uh, we have been playing like six, seven episodes just fine. And then, like, I don't play the game for a couple of days, I come back, and then we have a new issue for no reason. No reason, like, I haven't changed anything. No settings or anything. It's so fucking, it's such a weird fucking game. The Inca influence is unmistakable. And there's plenty of cutscenes in this game that you can't skip at all. You may be able to skip this one, but... Uh... Last Emperor's Tomb. <sighs> the cult must have taken root after his death. Okay, the Eclipse and the Heron. What am I missing? Wait, did Lopez leave this? The heart of the serpent is in the cup. The heart of the serpent. <laughs> yeah, so like, if I die here again, the worst thing that can happen is I have to replay 10 minutes. So it's not too bad if it happens now, but preferably we will do this on the second attempt. Yeah, she died here, I think. Yeah. This is Commander Rourke. We've got a lead on the box. Send a team for Croft. Who <laughs> right. <laughs> Give this to Wetsley. 
He's a rightful heir. He must live by Titi. He's young, but strong. His spirit as noble as his blood. Don't go, keep talking to me. The box, it will tempt you. Resist. We all create our destiny. are so fucking long. I mean, they're good and all, but they're too long. Okay. Well. And they see me immediately. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Oh, so fucking many. Like, are you kidding me? Can, can we please just stop this? It's still not enough. that I think so. That was like a dozen. Some bullets.
Yeah, we have to loot all of this. Are we down or not? Please let's be done. Please let me get to a fucking save point. Please. Be over. Jonah, where are you? I'm down by the docks. No more enemies. I see you. Hey, just about ready to go. On my way. No more nothing. I'm so done with this. Where's Unuratu? Dead. We were attacked. She died fighting Trinity. Oh no. Yeah. Where is my mother? Your mother. She... She fought hard. But that's the leader's amulet. It belongs to you now. She was a warrior. Can you please hurry up? Draws near. If the sun. Oh, I won't let the get to it first. Begin the preparations for the Belio Chamber. Queen Unuratu will live on within us. Uchu, assist them with the boat. We will prepare for battle. The rebellion must succeed. We'll be back with the box. The only thing I care about right now is a save point. I don't care about. Take care. Anything else? We'll be ready when you return. Uh, don't fucking tell me that we're gonna do some rafting or some stupid shit now without any save. Don't so fucking tell next? me. We'll head back to Quack Yaku, regroup and take it from there. Oh my god. Like, as long as the game doesn't crash, then that is what I'm afraid of. All that for another riddle. What did it say? The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. Well, it's better than nothing. I suppose. We need to find the box and end this. What is that? We still haven't got an aside box. Look at this now. I fucking knew it. No cinematic stuff or anything. Oh no. Are you fucking kidding me? Please let this just be a cutscene and be done with it. But what do they have against the player getting a fucking save point? <gasps> This is like watching a fucking movie. Not, not playing a game. Like for fuck's sake. If I want to watch a fucking movie, I go and watch a movie. If I want to play a game, I play a game. Jonah. But you can't do that anymore. Because everything is, is a fucking cinematic. Well, look 
Look what I found. Don't move. Great. Don't try me. This entire episode has Check just been there. fucking cutscenes. This is a movie. Oh my god. Anything? Commander Rourke is a highly trained, multi decorated veteran of the US Special Forces. His extensive experience with highly classified and sensitive operations executed with deadly efficiency brought him to the attention of the High Council. They recruited him based on his record alone. He is the leader of Trinity's military forces and personally leads the Deacon teams, which have access to custom APCs called Paladins and Special Ops helicopters called Cardinals. He is Trinity's second in command, answering only to the High Council. While Dominguez is the heart of Trinity, Rourke is the fist. Rourke and Dominguez don't always see eye to eye, but each has a grudging respect for the other. I'm still not 100% convinced the box even exists. And no save point. Save point. This is fucking ridiculous. What would a magic box even look like? My precious. The rush all of a sudden. Come look at this. What's up, Chief? How many are they? Go, stop, wait, go fast. The life of a soldier. I don't have any weapons, I think. The game is gonna fucking crash again. Find something. All clear. I have to do this sneakily. This couldn't wait till morning. I can't wait to finally see this box I've heard so much about. That wasn't good. I don't know if I can see it, I mean, in the water. Should I be expecting some kind of glow or mystical humming? Great. Man down! They can't be far. Oh shit. I better look around. You ready to engage? Okay. Keep within a couple of yards of each other. If you see anything, start shooting. Roger. Area sweep in progress. Damn, I fucking hate this game. Holy shit, do I hate it. It's so incredibly fucking stupid. I, I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna set me back. Oh, what? They get a save point. Holy shit. 
we get a free save point. What does a magic box even look like? I can't fucking believe my eyes. This sector looks empty. This is the second mercy save point we've gotten. The first one was in the beginning with the, with the flood. Come look at this. What's up, chief? You find something. But the stealth All stuff clear. is really fucking hard. Should I be expecting some kind of glow or mystical humming? Strange feeling. I see if that works. Let me know if you have to leave. I, I can't believe that we got a save there for once. I mean, fucking disbelief. Heck. I'll go see. Oh, gotta investigate. Kill him, please. Come on. Go oh, and investigate then, you fucking idiots. You're not doing it. Got anything? Tree there. Is there only three more? I can't wait to finally see this box I've heard so much about. Come on. Find it. You find something? When I have something to report, I'll report it. And they're just gonna fucking stay there, of course. And I don't know what that is. If that is like a smoke bomb or if it is a. What's it called? A Frag, grenade or whatever. The sector looks empty. I, I hate the smoke bombs, they're fucking useless. Got anything? Stop asking. They're just fucking staying on that side. Ridiculous. There's only two left, I think. Just come out already. Can't let her kill me. I hate this. Feels like she's watching me. She is. Come on out, finish this already. Here on the back of my neck standing up. Get your shit together, man. Good. One more right.
Uh, was that? Was that all? No. There's one more ad. And I don't have any weapons uh, except for the knife. Get out of here. Forward team, why the fuck are you still looking for that box? You have hostiles in your area. Well, Dr. Dominguez. I don't give a damn about Dominguez. Find Lara Croft and kill her. Find Lara Croft, how? We're spread out way too goddamn thin for that. This was a research operation. Let's just spread out and make the best of it. I'll cover that area. You stay here. Oh, shit. Maybe she's over here. I told you. Okay. Gotta check every shadow. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? this come on you fucker look at this what the hell he's, happened in the city it's gonna fucking goof around forever You're kidding me. There's fucking more, of course there is. Of course there's more. I kind of broke that list. <coughs> when will I get my fucking weapons back? Have we done? Like, what is fucking happening? I don't have the mud camouflage anymore.
Molotovs. A little late for that. Come on! Twenty first of December, sixteen oh three. Lopez had grown pensive since exiting the cenote. I led the way, and when I turned toward the city, at last he spoke, calling for us to stop. Then, after swearing me to silence, he shared with me a secret he had been carrying. That night, by the river, I met with the Emperor. I confessed to him who I was, who we are, and the true purpose of our visit. Trinity's fattened leaders, too busy with politics for even the morning's prayers, are not worthy of the box. The Emperor and I agreed that the only way to keep it safe from them was for me to claim it, take it far from here and hide it until one of the Paititi royal line, a chosen one, can follow his antecedents clues and rediscover it. Having thus unburdened himself, Lopez turned on his heels and set a course deeper into the jungle. Wacht en deren. Ja, we hebben een basecamp. Weer. Nou, we doen het. En like de controller is like fucking up constantly. En like losing connection. It's nothing wrong with my controller. It, this this fucking game that is once again haunted. It is a haunted game. What the fuck is it? Can we really jump this even with a with a rope thing? I guess so. So let's take a leap of faith. Oh, wow. Cardinal 2, all clear. What's going on, Commander? We got hit by a force shock. Cap team. Sir. This is Cardinal 2. I've got force shock damage in Juliet 3. A rock sledge got the tertiary pumping platform. Oh, Fire. ridiculous. Fallen trees and completely blocked the access road to Kilo 2. Give me a save point. Yeah. Oh. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? Good question. I'm gonna pick everything up to be in it and then save. What was the thing? Whatever. Let's just save. If you can do that. The first save in basically hours and hours. The first real save. Fucking ridiculous. What a seven percent one. So what did we get? We got some kind of armor or whatever. Adventure. Go back. What, what is wrong with this fucking controller? 
Good lord. Where is the fucking thing? It's not even here. Session. Like, why can't we craft anything? In, in the other games you could craft stuff. Where is the crafting? Unavailable. Come on. Come on. Like, Hello? D don't do this to me. Alright. So we're gonna have to end it here because uh, I have no. Once again, it, it happened with this uh, with the controller and the keyboard, like everything just shutting down. That happened in a few episodes ago. We're gonna have to call it here for this episode. And if you like this mess, please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you will. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.